good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? Good morning. Good morning. All right, good. We have a lot of people in here. Last time I was up here, you're like, Ugh. anyway. Well, good morning. Um, I want to talk to you about something, and I suppose today, being it's the Fourth of July, it's going to be an overlying theme today. So anyway, I wanted to talk about our freedom. And because it's the 4th of July, we celebrate our freedom every year. And it's a beautiful thing because we celebrate our inalienable rights. We celebrate the freedom to be who we are in this country. We celebrate the freedom to express ourselves freely without you know, retribution from anyone else. And we celebrate our freedom as individuals to be who we are as we are. But today I want to talk about the freedom of Christ. As Christians, particularly, we have the freedom to be individuals who serve a loving God, who are able to witness without fear of anything else in life. And we have freedom to worship and praise a loving Father who has done so much for us. And so I want to um, have the 4th of July not only be a day that we celebrate our independence in America, but a day that we celebrate our independence eternally. So I just wanted to leave you with that thought and hopefully that will be something that you think about quite often. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for a beautiful day that you've given unto us. We are never guaranteed our tomorrows, but you have blessed us with this day. So I ask, Father, that you please help us to make the best of what you have given and that we are um, witnesses for your eternal glory. In your name I pray, amen.